Hello everyone! Now usually we start our video with some key facts, but today we're going to begin by playing a quiz. Here are your questions. Question 1. How many states of matter are there? Question 2. Which among the following is magnetic in nature? A paper clip, a human or a tomato? And last, how many senses do humans have? Now you've probably answered three states of matter for the first question, paperclip for the second question, and five senses for the last question. Why? Because this is what's being taught at school from the beginning, right? Now according to our traditional school values and learning, you must have scored some good grading classes. But what if I tell you there are many other concepts that are just completely ignored? Number one, states of matter. In early school, we're taught that there are three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Later, when we get promoted to high school, we talk about the fourth state of matter being plasma. Well, talking of plasma, it's actually more like its electric conducting medium, which possesses positive and negative charges in equal concentration. Interestingly, our universe's matter is present in the form of plasma, including sun, stars, interplanetary and interstellar spaces. We are all very much fascinated by those dancing northern lights, right? Even those aurora lights and welding lights, which we see day to day at a mechanical shop or any construction site, are all in the state of plasma. Even our Earth's ionosphere is plasma. Our Earth is surrounded by solar winds which are nothing but in the state of plasma. Comparatively though, they are very weak and so do not affect the Earth. We can even prepare plasma in the lab, but how? If we heat any gas to an extent its molecules and atoms collide with each other and separate their electrons, then only a plasma state is formed, and something like this happens in stars. Now, if we talk about low energy state of matter, that's called Bose-Einstein condensate, there are nothing but bosons, which are in their lowest energy state. These bosons merge together to one when the temperature is at a degree. Now, let's come to the next two questions. There, we, we asked which among the following are magnetic. Paperclip, tomato, and humans. Are humans magnetic in nature? I guess half the audience would have thought that paperclip was the, was the right answer. Well, the actual right answer of those, including tomatoes and human beings, are both magnetic in nature. Now the magnetism in the tomato, let's talk about that. So the nuclei hydrogen atoms present in the water of the tomato repel the magnetic fields, and this type of inter interaction is called diamagnetism. Naturally, these forces are very weak, hence we cannot notice or physically observe them. We even learn that there is no gravity in space, hence astronauts float in space. But, mm, that's not actually the whole fact. Actually, the objects in space experience 90% of Earth's gravitational force, but thus any object in space is always constantly at a free fall towards the Earth's surface. We know that gravity acts on every object with the same acceleration, irrespective of the mass of the other object. Due to air resistance on Earth, we can't experience this phenomenon, but in space, as it's a vacuum, we can clearly observe this effect. Thus, all objects in space experience the same speed, and thus move or fall with the same speed. So now we can understand the floating phenomenon in space. Electrons can be found at different places at the same time because they are represented by a mathematical wave function and, after measuring, Next comes our senses, which are eyes, ears, tongue, and skin, and nose, which senses the following. Light, sound, taste, touch, and smell, respectively. In school, we're taught that we have five senses according to study. We actually have a sixth sense too. When scientists performed genetic and neurological study on mice, they concluded that we have a sixth sense which is called proprioception. 
It enables body movement while keeping its surrounding into consideration. This system takes care of our body's limbs and movement and positioning of its muscles. Our muscles, tendons and joints have properties which are called mechanosensory neurons which are responsible for proprioception. Mechanosension senses the force applied on our body. Scientists also conclude that our body has a piezo, P-I-E-Z-O-2 type mechanosensitive ion channel or component 2 or either a piezo 2 type gene which is responsible for the production of sensory proteins for a sixth sense proprioception. We can do certain things without thinking it over or giving a thought about what our consciousness does due to proprioception. Like, what, like walking in a straight line without looking forward, or walking without seeing your legs, or kicking, or feeling, or touching your nose with your eyes closed. There are a lot more concepts which were not taught to us completely in school. Do you know anything apart from these things which are taught wrong in school? If yes, let us know down below in the comment section, we'd love to read it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos like this. If you have any comments, uh, queries, concerns, um, any feedback, put it down below in the comment section. Apart from that guys, I'll speak to you in the next video.